Hey everybody, I'm Ted from Tabex. In this tutorial, I want to look at the ultimate queue plugin for Rust. Your server only has a certain amount of people that can join. When it's full, when people join, they will be put into a queuing system. So one by one, they are allowed to join as soon as a spot becomes available. The concept is fairly simple. I will show you how to set it up. We'll quickly look at what kind of configuration options we have. After the plugin is configured, we will go into Tabex and I'll show you how to give permission to the plugin once a purchase has been made. Looking at my Oxide folder, going inside of plugins, you can see I have the permissions manager plugin and also ultimate queue. I will link to both of those in the video description. Before I start configuring the ultimate queue plugin, I want to disable it. So I'm going to right click, rename, and then copy the exact name of the plugin. Then inside of the game, I'm going to press F1, type O dot unload, and then paste the name of the plugin. I'm going to do slash perms. And since I am admin, this will open up the permissions manager. And when clicking on all groups, you can see that I have a VIP group. This will make sure that through Tabex, we only have to add players to this group and all the permissions that we set for this group will automatically be applied to all players. Meaning that in the future, if you want to make changes, it's super easy. You just edit the group instead of having to remove or add permissions to all players that bought your package. In case you don't have a VIP group yet, I would recommend creating one first. I will link to this UMod documentation. As you can see, it says adding an entirely new group, oxide.group at VIP. You can just simply copy this, then an F1 paste. And I already have a VIP group, so I'll call it VIP2 as a demonstration. And now when opening up the permissions manager and clicking on groups, you can see that I created another group. Let's go into the configuration and see what kind of options we have. So back at our hosting company, let's go into configuration and then open up the ultimate queue JSON. Only a few options, so let's go through them one by one. It says auth level required to skip queue no matter what. Meaning that if you're a moderator or admin, your player will automatically get the skip queue permission applied. It says enable first connect skip queue. This is a feature aimed at new players. So the first time someone connects to your server, they will automatically skip the queue. After that, they will automatically put into the queue list. I will mainly try to explain what things mean. It really depends on what kind of server you're setting up, what kind of settings you should go for. Enable queue capacity. If you look down here, it says queue capacity by default is 50. If you change false to true, there can only be a maximum of 50 people in the queue at one time. If you want to use the queue capacity system, you can also use a permission for that. It says if a player has one of the listed permissions, they are affected by queue capacity. So all the default players are still affected by the queue capacity. But for example, people that have the VIP permission will not be hold in the queue capacity. It's not just a on and off switch. Even if you turn this on, there is a little bit of flexibility. You can also enable queue holding. It says if a player has one of the listed permissions, their queue spot is held on disconnect. Meaning if you're in the queue waiting to join the server and you get disconnected, as soon as you reconnect, you're still in the same spot you would have been if you just stayed connected. Another feature, it says number of minutes to allow a user to reconnect without a queue. So if you're on the server, you disconnect. If you reconnect within five minutes, you will not be put into the queue list. And then the main thing, enable queue skipping. By default, this is also true. It says if the player has one of the listed permissions, they will skip the queue. If you need to, you can also create more permissions over here. This is the main permission we are going to give to people to skip the queue. Then two last options. It says when a user joins the first time, message the new user. And it says this only works if a first connect queue skip is enabled. And lastly, it says when a user joins for the first time, announce it to all players. Depending on what kind of server you have, for example, a very role play server might really like this feature. So in my case, I'm just going to change this to false. And then let's click on save and exit. Let's go into the game and reload the plugin with the new configuration. Let's do F1. Let's just press up arrow till we see the command that we want. And then instead of unload, we want to say reload, press enter, and this will reload the plugin. So now when we do slash perms and go to our VIP group, we will see that indeed the ultimate queue plugin is loaded. So let's click on ultimate queue. So I'm going to say VIP and depending on what you want, maybe also first connect and default. Now the VIP permission for the ultimate queue is applied to the VIP group. Let's go into Tabex and I'll show you what command you have to use to add a player to the group once a purchase has been made. So let's go back to our documentation and it says adding a player to a existing group. Let's copy this. 
let's go into tabex so i already gave it a name selected a category and gave a very minimal description in this case i set a price and then we need to add a deliverable so in our case we're going to click on game server commands and then add a first command it says when the package is purchased what do we want to do we want to add a player to a group so let's change instead of wolf which is a developer for umod we're going to say open brackets and as you can see it will say id and this will get the primary id from the player username it will automatically take the username from whoever is logged into our web store and instead of the admin group we want to add them to our vip group make sure you have a server attached to this package as well this is how you configure your queuing system and also give access to the skip queue through tabex hopefully this was helpful if anything is unclear you can always leave a comment down below as always thank you for watching and good luck with your Tabex store.